morning prayer for Saturday, the uh, third week of Lent, uh, tomorrow being the fourth Sunday in Lent. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You are full of compassion and mercy. Come, let us adore you. Come, let us sing to you. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before your presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to you with psalms. For you are a great God and a great ruler above all gods. In your hands are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills is yours also. The sea is yours, for you made it and your hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before you, our maker. For you are our God, and we are the people of your pasture and the sheep of your hand. Oh, that today we would hearken to your voice. The psalm for this Saturday in morning prayer is Psalm 87. And as usual, I sing it using the simple tune of just going up one notch at the end and then all the way down again at the end of four. Um, on the holy mountain stands the city he has founded. The Lord loves the gates of Zion more than the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are spoken of you. O city of our God, I count e Egypt and Babylon among those who know me. Behold Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia, in Zion, where they were born. O Zion, it shall be said, everyone was born in her, and the Most High himself shall sustain her. The Lord will record as he enrolls the people. These also were born there. The singers and dancers will say, All my fresh springs are in you. Continuing our reading from Genesis, um, thus Israel settled in the land of Egypt, in the region of Goshen, and they gained possessions in it and were fruitful and multiplied exceedingly. Jacob lived in the land of Egypt seventeen years. So the days of Jacob, the years of his life, were 147 years. When the time of Israel's death drew near, he called his son Joseph and said to him, If I have found favor with you, put your hand under my thigh and promise to deal loyally and uh, truly with me. Do not bury me in Egypt. When I lie down with my ancestors, carry me out of Egypt and bury me in their burial place. He answered, I will do as you have said. And he said, swear to me. And he swore to him. Then Israel bowed his, himself on, on, his, on the head of his bed. Um, after this, Joseph was told, your father is ill. So he took with him his two sons, Manasseh and Ephraim. When Jacob was told, your, your son Joseph has come to you, he summoned his strength and sat up in bed. And Jacob said to Joseph, God Almighty appeared to me at Luz in the land of, of Canaan, and he blessed me, and he said to me, I'm going to make you fruitful and increase your numbers. I will make you a company of people. I will give the land to your offspring after you for, the, for a perpetual holding. Therefore, your two sons who were born to you in the land of Egypt before I came to you in Egypt 
are now mine. Ephraim and Manasseh shall be mine, just as Reuben and Simeon are. As for the offspring born to you after them, they shall be yours. They shall be recorded under the names of their brothers with regard to their inheritance. For when I came from uh, Paddan, Rachel, alas, died in the land of Canaan on the way. And while there was uh, still some distance to go uh, to Ephrath, and I buried her there on the way to Ephrath, that is Bethlehem. So Rachel was buried in Bethlehem or near it. Um, The Greek canticle for Saturday is called the Benedicite, and um, it is a song of creation. It is a song of the three young men. Glorify the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise God and highly exalt God forever. In the firmament of God's power, glorify the Lord. Praise God and highly exalt God forever. Glorify the Lord, you angels and all powers of the Lord, O heavens and all waters above the heavens, sun and moon and stars of the sky. Glorify the Lord. Praise God and highly, and highly exalt God forever. Glorify the Lord, every shower of rain and fall of dew, all winds and fire and heat, winter and summer. Glorify the Lord. Praise God and highly exalt God forever. Glorify the Lord, O chill and cold, drops of dew and flakes of snow, frost and cold, ice and sleet. Glorify the Lord. Praise God and highly exalt God forever. Glorify the Lord, O nights and days, O shining light and enfolding dark, storm clouds and thunderbolts. Glorify the Lord. Praise God and highly exalt God forever. Let the earth glorify the Lord, praise God, and highly exalt God forever. Glorify the Lord, O mountains and hills, and all that grows upon the earth. Praise God, and highly exalt God forever. Glorify the Lord, O springs of water, seas and streams, O whales and all that move in the waters, all birds of the air. Glorify the Lord, praise God, and highly exalt God forever. Glorify the Lord, O beasts of the wild and all you flocks and herds. O men and women everywhere, glorify the Lord. Praise God and highly exalt God forever. Let the people of God glorify the Lord. Praise God and highly exalt God forever. Glorify the Lord, O priests and servants of the Lord. Praise God and highly exalt God forever. Glorify the Lord, O spirits and souls of the righteous. Praise God and highly exalt God forever. You that are holy and humble of heart, glorify the Lord. Praise God and highly exalt God forever. Let us glorify the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Praise God and highly exalt God forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise God and highly exalt God forever. A reading from the Gospel of Mark. Now, when the Pharisees and some of the scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus, they noticed that some of his disciples were eating with defiled hands, <coughs> that is, without washing them. For the Pharisees and all the others uh, do not eat unless they thoroughly wash their, their hands, thus observing the tradition of the elders. And they do not eat anything from the market unless they wash it. And there are also many other traditions that they observe, the washing of cups, pots, and bronze kettles. So the Pharisees and the scribes asked him, why do your disciples not live according to the tradition of the elders, but eat with defiled hands? And he said to them, Isaiah prophesied rightly, about you hypocrites, as it is written. The people honors me with their lips, 
but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching human precepts as doctrines. You abandon the commandment of God and hold to human tradition. Then he said to them, You have a fine way of rejecting the commandment of God in order to keep your tradition. For Moses said, Honor your father and your mother. Whoever speaks evil of father or mother must surely die. But you say that if anyone tells father or mother, whatever support you might have from me is korban, that is, it's an offering to God, then you no longer uh, permit doing anything for a father and mother, thus making void the word of God through your tradition that you have handed on. And you do many things like this. Then he called the crowd again and he said, Listen to me, all of you, and understand there is nothing outside a person that by going in can defile, but the things that come out of what are what defile. When he had left the crowd and entered the house, his disciples asked him about the parable, and he said to them, um, Then do you also fail to understand? Do you not see that whatever goes into the person from the outside cannot defile since it enters not the heart but the stomach and goes into the sewer? Thus he declared, all foods clean. He said, it is <clears throat> what comes out of a person that defiles, for it is from within, from the human heart, that uh, evil intentions come, fornication, theft, murder, adultery, avarice, wickedness, deceit, licentiousness, envy, slander, pride, folly. All these evil things come from within, and they defile a person. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding, O king of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing praises to your name? For you only are the Holy One, all nations will draw near and fall down before you because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. And you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Gracious Father, whose blessed Son, Jesus Christ, came down from heaven to be the true bread which gives life to the world, evermore give us this bread, that he may live in us and we in him, 
who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, who after the creation of the world rested from all your works and sanctified a day of rest for all your creatures, grant that we, putting away all earthly anxieties, may duly be prepared for the service of your sanctuary, and that our rest here upon earth may be preparation for the eternal rest promised to your people in heaven through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your Spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And I would invite your prayers and intercessions. We pray for the dead. I pray especially for my my mother, Marion, and my father, Russell, and my um, brother-in-law, Larry, um, and for my uncle, Joe, and Aunt Betty, and for all our forebears. And we pray for those who are, are um, in need of healing. Uh, we pray for Johnny and Andrea and um, for John and for Eric. And abundant life for all um, who are going through this difficult time uh, with this pandemic of the coronavirus. Um, and by abundant life, I mean to stay healthy. Um, a couple of comments. The gospel lesson is a little hard on washing hands. Don't be. <laughs> Please wash your hands. Um, the, uh, the virus itself, um, the whole germ theory of things, uh, didn't exist in the time of Jesus. Um, but of course, his point was not really about washing hands, but about um, using human traditions in place of God's word. Um, and of course, that's up to each of us to figure that out, what that means. Um, but in the meantime, please wash your hands as you are protecting yourself from the pandemic. I thank God for this lovely day. Um, it is uh, sunny and clear and spring is in the air. The birds are twittering madly out there, um, getting ready to reproduce as spring allows. Our gardens are looking at us and saying, come, please, we need to be cultivated. Um, using the general thanksgiving, Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can 
do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Be well. Have a good day. Bless the Lord.